to the Victoria. Special case for this type of the Yamaha Wallet 4. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. So our discussion now will be all about um, the complex, uh, the root of a complex number and its uh, logarithm. Okay, so we just write first here the first part of our topic. Okay, so the root of a complex number. So in getting the root of a complex number, so we must express our um, uh, complex number in polar form. So we will do that. For example, we have here the uh, complex number r, angle of theta raised to the power of 1 over n. So that is the root. So we could write that one as r, 1 over n, angle theta plus k k times 360 over n okay. where in your your um, k here is so your k your n is the n is the um, degree of the root no? so degree of the root okay for example we say square square root so that is the second degree of the root then your k is a number in which uh, it will start at one two three so it is called as the uh, number of roots so the first root second or third root up to n minus one root up to the and root okay so that is what we know as the um the root of the the logarithm so the n minus one is one so th this is the nth root so we will just um write this one as the nth root no? nth root okay Okay, so we'll have here an example. Example. So we need to find, so we have the given um, complex number which is equal to 3 plus j4. So we need to find z, the complex number raised to the power, let's find, okay. raised to the power or the foot the foot root of our complex number so we will have here our solution okay solution so we will say we will just convert first our um uh, z into a polar form so z is equals to 3 plus g of 4 so if we are going to solve for our r so r is equal to x squared plus y squared or equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared which is equal to square root of 25 which is equal to 5 then our um, theta is equal to inverse tangent 4 over 3 and now this is equal to maybe we'll have our calculator so let's just first find our calculator okay. have our calculator in the screen okay so we have that now on our screen so we have uh, shift tangent 
uh, 4 over 3. Okay, so this is equal to 0 0.93 right, regions. We have 0 0.93 regions. So our complex, the complex number in polar form is equal to 5 angle of 0 0.93 rad. Okay, now we will get the square root of this one. Now the formula is in degrees. Okay, you see the formula is in degrees. So we just also convert our the, our angle here in degrees. So we, we can do that using our calculator. So maybe we just also um, uh, have our units in degrees. Okay, so we have 53.13. Okay, so we could write this, this one as z is equals to 5 square root of 53.13 degrees. So this is much easier. We could also convert the formula, the, the 360 degree, that is 2 pi, but um, in order for us to have our solutions easier, so we could just um, convert our um, given, okay, for this, uh, the angle of our polar form. So we will now have z is equal to 5 to the power of, this is raised to the power of 1 fourth, okay. angle so this is is just see for our formula this is theta so this is 53.13 plus k so first we use the 1 360 over 4 so this is our first root so our second root so this would be 5 raised to the power of 1 fourth angle of 53.13 plus 2 times 360 over 4. Okay. And lastly, our Z3. Okay. So 5 raised to the power of 4. Angle of 53.13 plus 2 times 360. No, that is 3. This is the third one. So 3 times 360 over 4. Then we could have our the fourth root. So if that is a uh, four, so that we have four roots here. So five, one fourth angle of fifty three point thirteen plus four times three hundred sixty over four. Okay, so let's use our calculator in getting the values of this four roots no okay so we have 53.13 plus 360 over 4 okay so this is 103.29 at point 28 so we have the 5 raised to the power of 1 1 fourth so we have uh, uh, one fourth, so this is equal to 1.40. We have 1.5. No, this would be 1.5. Angle of 103. I forgot the sub value here. So 103.28. So 103.28 degrees. So you could um, convert this one into radians. Then next. Okay, so we have the next one. So this is 53.13 plus 2 times 360 over 4. It's equal to 193.28. So just write that one here. So we have 1.5 angle of 193.28 degrees. We have Z3. So the next one is so this one. just replace this one with 3. Okay, so that is 
1.5 angle of 283.28 so we have 1.5 angle of 283.28 degrees and the last one okay so we just replace our k with 4 okay so we have 373.28 so we have 1.5 angle of 373.28 now if you're gonna um deduct this one with um, 360 so we could say that this is 1.5 angle of 13.28 degrees okay, so you could have this two as your answer so that is how we are going to get the root of a complex number so now we will go to getting the root okay so or now the logarithm of a complex number okay so in getting the the um, getting the root uh, the logarithm of a complex number so we will use a new form of representing our complex number the um, tri trigonometric some of them because it's the Euler's form so we have, we have here z is equal to r e to the j of theta so your theta here is also in radians okay so we will say here that um, ln z so this is the logarithm of the complex number is equal to ln r e j to uh, e to the power of j theta so using the properties of logarithm we could say that ln r plus um, ln e j theta so this is now one we could bring down here our um, power so we have ln r plus j of theta where your theta is in radians okay so if you have an example we have an example so we need to find the our z is equal to 9 plus j of 8 so we need to find the logarithm of z so first we will transform this one to polar form so we will solve for r so 9 squared plus 8 squared then solve for theta that is inverse tangent 8 over 9 okay so we have our calculator so we have 9 squared plus 8 squared equals so that is square root of 145 we just uh, we will just um, copy this square root next we have we will set our okay so it is already in uh, radians okay we have chief uh, tangent or inverse tangent 8 over 9 this is equal to 0 0.73 0 0.73 radians Okay, so now we will write the, our given um, complex number in um, polar form. Okay, so we have z is equal to square root of 145 angle of 0 0.73 radians. Okay, then we will transform this one into the trigonometric form. So that will be square root of 145 e the yun j of 0 0.73 so that is how we could uh, write the polar form so we now get the ln z okay so that is equal to ln square root of 145 e j of 0 0.73 so we will have ln square root of 145 plus ln e j to say uh, to the power of 0 0.73 so we have ln 145 plus j of 0 0.73 okay so our final answer will be 
ln z is equal to so we need to solve to this one ln square root of 145 so we use our calculator ln square root of 145 okay is equal to 2.49 so we will have 2.49 plus j of 0 0.73 so this is now our answer so that is how we are going to solve for the logarithm and the root of a complex number so i will also make more videos which solve these types of problem involving complex numbers so thank you for watching this video and as always enjoy learning